God bless all the black women, because black women be knowing black men be in the wrong, and they still stand up for black men. Why? Because they know what white people do to black men. Black women on the front line. Daytime tea time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candice. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload. All right, y'all, so let's get right on into it. We are still talking about Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. The conversation is still going on about the fact that Megan Thee Stallion actually named Tory Lanez as the person who shot her. Yes, this nigga Tory shot me. You shot me, and you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying and shit stop lying if for some reason you don't know what's going on please watch my last video i cannot recap all of that so the update on this whole situation is that a lot of people are giving their opinions about the situation a lot of people speaking up and supporting megan the stallion as we all should be supporting a victim who done got shot by somebody ain't no way around that and ain't no explanation or no justification and if you are doing that trying to justify why she got shot something wrong with you but anyways y'all let's talk about black men standing up for black women i know y'all like to say that black men don't protect us some black men don't support black women but a lot of black men do and we're about to talk about a few celebrities that are supporting megan the stallion starting with bun b shout out to bun b oh my god everything he said i'm like yes finally a strong black man speaking facts about abuse y'all about to see bun b is speaking nothing but truth truth that tory lanes doesn't understand and a lot of these young black men and men in general just don't understand when it comes to abuse and violence towards women check this out I tried to be impartial and cool about this and not get it man f that man f Tory Lanez okay and I don't care if this go viral or none of this I'm from Houston and if somebody would have done something to Megan in this city we would have rolled Megan in LA by herself it's just her T fair she ain't got a mama no more her mama is gone her daddy is gone her grandmother is gone all the people that loved her and cared about her unconditionally that looked out for her and would have protected her ain't there so as an OG in Houston, I'm standing up. Tory Lanez did some whole shit. Period. Yeah, I, I know Tory, I know his manager, I know all of them, man. Fuck all that though, Fuck all that. If the man on drugs, get him some goddamn rehab. If the man got mental health issues, get him some therapy. But you're not just gonna sit here and shoot this girl. And we not say nothing. This shit not real, this, I mean, this is not real shit. It's not. Anytime a man hurts a woman, that's obsession. That ain't love, that's obsession. You know what I'm saying? And he had no reason to shoot this girl. She want to get out the car, get out the car. You get into it with your gal, she mad, I'm a, let me out. Pull the fuck over. Because whatever you got to deal with with that, it's going to be better than if you don't do that and you try to restrain a woman and then she get physical. Because if she ready to get out the car and you don't let her get out the car, she going to get physical with you. And she got a right to let her out the goddamn car. Now he ain't from New York, he from Canada. So at the very least, they gonna deport his ass. He got to go back to Canada. But nobody's talking about it because it's a black woman. Y'all can say what y'all want. I'm just, just, that's just what it is. If Benji, the twin from Good Charlotte, had put his hands on Cameron Diaz or somebody, if some, one, you let one of these actors or somebody that fuck with one of these, these white women in Hollywood, put, they, put your hands on Alyssa Milano and see what happens. Put your hands on Lady Gaga and see how quick they lock your ass up. We love Megan here. We brag about Megan. Everybody want to talk about that. Nobody's saying nothing when she gets shot. No, we got memes. We got jokes. We got all that shit. Man, f*** that. That's supposed to be on the 530 National News. Constantly. That shit ain't even... I'm in Houston. They ain't even... I don't think they ever talked about it on local news here. That's a Houstonian. And yeah, she did, and, and and God bless all the black women, because black women be knowing black men be in the wrong, and they still stand up for black men. Why? Because they know what white people do to black men. This is why black women are so hesitant to speak up for uh, to speak against black men, because she know black women know how the legal system will treat black men. They know how white. America will treat black men when they do something wrong and black women bite their tongue behind the shit that we do 
They've done it for centuries. They put themselves in front of us constantly. You look at any civil rights movement, you look at any, you look at segregation, Jim Crow, civil rights, everything. Black women on the front line. Black women on the front line. She wasn't just scared, she wasn't just scared for herself. Because she's in a position now where she know that he can't touch her no more. She was scared of what was gonna happen to him. If you go back and look at that live, you'll see it. She was worried about what would happen to him. She didn't want him to lose his career because it's so hard for black men to get that kind of employment, to make that kind of, of money in America. She know how hard it is for a black man to be successful in his America, to beat the conditions that hold us down in America. That's why that girl didn't go to the police. She tried to cover for him at his worst, at his lowest. How many of y'all know, don't know a black woman that done that for their man, their brother, their cousin, their daddy, their nephew, their neighbor? All right, so y'all see that. Shout out to Bum B. I don't care what nobody say. That was nothing but facts. All the way through everything he said, especially when he talks about a black woman and how we protect black men. A lot of people criticizing Megan Thee Stallion about why she didn't tell the truth in the beginning and why it took her so long to tell the truth. Because she was protecting him and she knew the kind of trouble he was going to get in. And as black women, we always care about other people before ourselves. I'm not judging Megan Thee Stallion. I'm just glad she told the truth. I don't care how long it took. When she was ready, she told. Because because he was out there lying. Like if he would have just kept his mouth shut, he wouldn't be in all this trouble. But that's the thing about lies. They only stay buried for so long. Now, another thing that Bum B said when he was talking about the whole, you know, let the woman out of the car situation. If a woman wants to get out the car, you cannot restrain her. That's kidnapping. When you're standing in somebody's way or holding them down or just stopping them in general from moving from one place to another and the cops get caught and it goes to court, it's kidnapping. Kidnapping, false imprisonment, whatever you want to call it all i'm saying is it's illegal and bun b was speaking facts you get into it with your gal she mad i'm let me out pull the f over because whatever you got to deal with with that is going to be better than if you don't do that and you try to restrain a woman and then she get physical because if she ready to get out the car and you don't let her get out the car she gonna get physical with you and she got a right to let her out the goddamn car so when megan said she got out the car and she started walking away the fact that he shot her imagine what was happening in the car you better believe that he was telling her she couldn't leave you bet not go and then he shot her there's a lot of people all over the world dealing with this type of abuse and like bun b said when a woman wants to leave you let her leave if you don't let her leave and she defends herself she had every right so shout out to megan the style and i'm gonna have her back no matter what shout out to bun b a strong black man speaking facts but anyways y'all let's move on boosie is trending on twitter right now because he's not speaking up for once y'all know boosie always got a lot of mouth about everybody but on this tory lanes and megan the stallion situation he said he don't want to talk about it check this out listen, hey, listen, hey, boosie, we want to know what's your take on this megan the stallion situation would you possibly do a feature with megan or even if tory calls you right now and said he wanted a feature for boosie would you give him a feature or what's your take on this whole position i don't want to get in that because i don't want to say the wrong thing i always she, say the wrong thing i don't want to say the wrong thing because I, I fuck with tory and i fuck with me i need me a meg verse now i'm not okay. gonna say shit. but you've been vocal about everything else but i'm know. not finna say nothing about meg and tory uh -uh. but listen a lot of women have been actually like speaking up with boosie and men in the industry haven't been talking about it so we possibly i don't want to be the first to talk about it i don't want to talk about it because i'm gonna be in the wedge Y'all, they gonna take this and they gonna flip it on me. And they gonna make it look like I took a side. So like my mama say, I need to shit up on this. I'm well, look, I don't even have much to say about this besides the irony of it all. Boosie always talking about somebody and his opinion, but now he ain't got nothing to say. Honestly, what he said is the right choice. It's like, if you know what you got to say is not gonna help the situation, then yes, shut up, Boosie. Cause nine times out of 10, Boosie is on Tory Lane's side. It's just obvious, but you know, whatever. He didn't speak, good choice, but him not speaking still got him trending. I'm just saying. Now let's talk about Mario. Singer Mario also spoke out and he got a 
little bit of backlash, which I don't understand at all why he got the backlash. But this is what he had to say. He said, this Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane situation got me in awe, sad AF. Knowing Tory personally, this ish is crazy to me. Black men, we gotta learn how to control our ego, anger, etc. At some point, the switch gotta turn off. Protect black women, heal black men, love and respect each other. After Mario made that post, he got some backlash, I guess because he said protect black women and heal black men. I'm assuming people's issue is the fact that he's worrying about Tory Lanez. And if that's the reason that people had a problem with this post, I think that's messed up. Let's be clear, we are standing up for Megan Thee Stallion. We're supporting her. However, Tory Lanez clearly has something wrong with him. Rather it's a mental illness or a drug habit or anger issues or deep-rooted child issues. There is a reason why he behaves this way. Not an excuse, but a reason. So yes, why not say heal black men? Black men do need to be healed. Go to therapy so they can stop this behavior. So there's nothing wrong with Mario making the post that he made. It's a fact. Black women need to be protected and black men need to get the healing that they need so they can stop behaving the way that they behave sometimes. Period, ain't nothing wrong with Mario's post so y'all need to leave him alone. But anyways y'all, back to the black men and other celebrities who are supporting Megan. Here's some more people. Chance the Rapper took to his social media and he said, I hope Meg really gets justice for what Tori did to her and that we can all learn from this. How near and constant and serious the threat of lethal violence and abuse is for every black woman. Halle Berry spoke out in support and she said, peace, protection, and respect for all black women, always. Megan Thee Stallion, we stand with you. F this ish. Hashtag protect black women. And Halle Berry also made multiple posts in support of Megan Thee Stallion. She retweeted Essence, hashtag protect black women, along with multiple other posts. Michael B. Jordan spoke out and he said, Megan, I admire your courage and I applaud you for speaking up. We must support black women, protect black women, and believe black women at Megan the Stallion. Lala Anthony, she said, I support you and I love you always. And Amanda Seals also had some things to say about this. Some evening truths, Megan the Stallion is not a snitch. She is the victim of a shooting at the hands of a bitch ass nigga. Y'all, there's a lot more people and celebrities, fans, all kind of people that are supporting Megan Thee Stallion. But on the other hand, there are some people who are saying they don't believe her or they don't feel sorry for her. And just being negative about the whole situation. And those kind of people just gonna have to get their karma the way they get their karma. I'm just saying. But all right, y'all, I'm done with this and I wanna know what y'all think. What do you guys think about Bun B and all of these celebrities that are supporting Megan Thee Stallion? And what do y'all think about Boosie finally shutting the heck up and not having an opinion about something? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye. You know